Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Gonna talk all the latest from NVIDIA and graphics cards. Them saying something pretty interesting that I think all of us have come to the realization of. But before we get into this video, a quick word from our sponsor. You know, when you're getting into PC gaming, one of the biggest components that you're getting into it for is customization. And one of the bigger elements that you want to customize is your browser. Your regular browsers are great and all, but I want to point you guys towards Opera GX, which offers you endless tools for customization. And Endless sometimes can be a little bit wild, but you've got GX mods. You can flip your entire browser 180 with just one click and change pretty much anything that you want. You can pick any of the mods that Opera GX has available to you or create your own that suits you. The best browser sounds for opening tabs, shaders that gives you various adjustments. You can change the look of your browser and so much more. Besides the dedicated mods, you can also make smaller changes such as customize your theme, upload your own wallpapers, and so much more. And when you're transitioning to Opera GX, you can utilize the import tool that allows you to quickly import all of your settings from your previous browser. That includes browsing history, bookmarks, cookies, in addition, it's also compatible with every Google Chrome extension. They are sponsoring today's video. Check out the link in the description box below and deck out your PC with a browser dedicated to be customized. Now onto the video. Man, the graphics card side of things these days is pretty interesting. Alongside uh, bad PC versions and bad PC ports, it seems like a gigantic limiting factor for a lot of us when it comes to GPUs and running games at certain settings and certain resolutions is GPU VRAM. You look at a game like The Last of Us Part 1, that game just brought PCs to its knees when you talk about VRAM. And, uh, you know, I think for a long time, a lot of us thought that 8GB of VRAM was gonna be, you know, serviceable for at least a decent period of time. But now you're looking at even 10GB of VRAM is getting uh, pretty limiting. As noted on Tweaktown, as a part of NVIDIA's presentation announcing the new GeForce RTX 4060 family, two out of three models could experience VRAM capacity issues for some titles when played using using max setting. With RTX 4060 and 4060 Ti launching with 8GB of VRAM, Ti is, however, getting a 16GB model in July. Internal 1080p NVIDIA benchmarks for A Plague Tale Requiem and Resident Evil 4 Remake were highlighted as two games tested using the high preset as opposed to everything set to max. NVIDIA noted that this is why the more expensive RTX 4060 Ti 16GB exists. That 16GB GPU will be $500 versus $400. So yes, you are paying a hefty pre to get 16 gigabytes of VRAM over um, 8 gigabytes of VRAM, but that's probably a premium that's going to be worthwhile. And VRAMs being a limiting factor for games have been something that's been very prevalent all year long. But you have to go back to the RTX 3060. What's weird is the 3060 launched with, I believe, 12 gigabytes of VRAM. So Limiting the 4060 to an 8 gigabyte model right out the gate, that is very limiting. And also, the 60 series GPU, maybe some will argue that the 70 series GPU is this. I feel like the 60 series GPU has always been one of the most mainstream accessible GPUs, meaning that... Yo, let's be real. Most people are not going to be able to buy a 4080. They're not going to be able to buy, let's say, a 3080 uh, when the 3080 was relevant. You know, some people can push the envelope a little bit and get a 70 series, and it's really the 60 or the 70, and when you think about it, a lot of pre-built computers, and yes, a ton of people still buy pre-built computers. Like, anecdotally, just speaking with the people I know, I have a ton of friends that have bought pre-built computers, and you know that this is going to be an instance of a lot of pre-built computers going with the 8GB 4060 in their configurations instead of the 16GB configuration. A lot of people are just not going to know the difference and yes, you can make the argument, okay, that's just their ignorance. They should uh, do their research before they buy a pre-built computer. I agree with that, but that's the idea of buying a pre-built computer is so you can mitigate a lot of the research and whatnot. And um, I foresee that being a regular thing that people like just fumble on when they're buying a pre-built computer is that they get an 8 gigabyte 4060 thinking, hey, a 4060, I've seen the benchmarks. They, it looks like it's a pretty capable GPU, but most of the pre-builds are gonna go the 8 gigabyte route and not the 16 gigabyte route just to save on the cost. And then uh, I do feel like you're gonna get duped a little bit. I do think that's gonna be an issue because a differential of 8 to 16, especially with a GPU like the 4060, that is such a substantial difference. And the fact that the 8 gigabyte is launching first, that is going to be 
incredibly limiting, and that's for games right now. You're talking about RE4 and Plague Tale Requiem or a game like Last of Us. Those are very recent games. What happens six months from now? What happens nine months from now? What happens a year from now? The 4060, uh, if you get that 8 gigabyte model, you are just going to be completely out of luck. And I think, you know, for a GPU like the 4060 and 4060 Ti, because of the level that they're at, really think it's time we move away with 8 gigabytes. Like, 8 gigabytes at a time was good, but you just look at the premier games that are launching. And the 4060, people are buying that GPU with the idea in their head, I'm buying this GPU to at least play at max settings or damn near close to max settings and i get it uh resident evil and plague tale were highlighted to be running at high which is still serviceable but those are games out now again you talk six nine a months from now a year from now the the total landscape is gonna be different so uh yeah uh plague tale requiem was at high preset re remake was at uh ray tracing preset and then the configuration they note i9 1200 uh, 12900k 1080p max settings dlss and rt on in the games that support it you know the the, the other games that they're showcasing warhammer 40k dark time witcher 3 wild hunt spider-man uh flight sim parish hitman 3 f1 cyberpunk 2077 you're getting decent performance out of all of those games you, they note the 4060 3060 and 2060 so, you know, do foresee uh, 8 gigabytes, unfortunately, being a very limiting factor. And uh, I know some of you guys are going to be like, okay, why are you even bringing up Last of Us? That game's an abomination. But, you know, if you think Last of Us is only going to be uh, going to be the only game that's an abomination for the foreseeable future, bro, I, I got some bad news for you. I got some real bad news for you because it's not going to be the only one. And I get it when you're talking about a GPU like the 4060. They do need to balance performance with cost. But the 4060 is still at a level in the 4060 Ti that... Yo, you can get a 12 gigabyte configuration in there. I just think that would have been a lot more feasible, even if you needed to do something where it's like $450. And honestly, an accessible GPU for $450 is like, oh, man, that, that, that's kind of hefty. I know I can't go back a decade and look at GPU, uh, like the GPU prices back then, but I feel like it wasn't that long ago where the 70 series GPUs were regularly $400, bucks, but you know. Obviously, the market and the game has changed a little bit, but that'll do it for me. Definitely interested to hear what you guys think. Honestly, I've been of the mindset that if you have a capable GPU, I think you should stay away from buying a new GPU for a while. If um, What I'm saying is if you have like a 2000 series GPU, I would stick with that for a while. Sometimes I recommend, yo, wait a generation, wait two generations. This is the era that we live in. I would be waiting multiple generations to upgrade just because, yo, you're going to get a nice GPU and what are you going to do with it? Half the games, probably more, are just going to be a... a abysmal ports that like you're not even gonna get the most out of your gpus like why have a 4090 if you're gonna play if you're excited for jedi survivor and you're playing that game at sub 40 frames per second or whatever i know that there's workarounds now to get that game running fairly well but you guys get my drip but that'll do it for me let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below as always thanks for watching and i will catch you guys in the next one peace out Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate it if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.